Hey everybody, welcome to Planetary Awareness. This is Dave here, checking in in springtime. I'm gonna give a little tour here of all the trees that are blossoming. There's lots of flowers bursting open, lots of pollinators, bees buzzing about, and it's a beautiful day out here. So the first tree we have here is called the Hollywood Plum. You can tell it's a showstopper. These blossoms are incredible. And the foliage on this, the leaves when they pop out, are a nice red color that actually turn to sort of a purple. So it's just a very, very beautiful tree. And that's why I put it in the very front by the road and everything so people could see Hollywood Plum. Um, I'm gonna take you over here so I can show you more things that are blossoming. This is kind of cool. These are trifoliate oranges that survived the winter. So we're growing oranges outdoors in Virginia, zone 7A. They're maybe not the best oranges, but we'll find out and we'll see if we can graft onto them as well. I really have to take you over here to the bush cherries. So most of these are Nanking bush cherries. There's other varieties too, but you can see just loaded. And these are, you know, small bushes. Although each one of these can have just tons of cherries. I mean, last year we had a good amount and it's probably going to be double that now. And they're quite delicious. And these bush cherries are just so awesome because they don't have much disease issues or pest pressure. They're a lot easier to grow than cherry trees and they stay a manageable height. So they stay short. You know, I mean, they can maybe get six to eight feet tall, but they're not gonna get 30, 40 feet tall like a cherry tree could. Boy, these blossoms are amazing. Yeah, look at that. It's just so many blossoms. You know, we got the persimmons all scattered through here. They take a while to wake up, but things like the elderberry wake up pretty quickly. You can see comfrey popping up all over the ground everywhere. Figs, um, these ones took some damage, these younger trees, but the older ones look a lot better. So we're gonna keep going to the trees that are flowering. I just wanna capture it because, you know, it comes and goes so fast and it's so beautiful and it's just so amazing. And most people don't get to visit the farm actually this time of year. They usually come in the summer and the fall. But this is a great time to come visit. Look at these blossoms on the pluot. Let's see which one is this this is the flavor supreme pluot so i'm really hoping to get fruit off these we're supposed to have a frost come in for a couple days uh, which is not going to be good for these blossoms but my job today is to get out all the hoses and bring them out here and 
basically it hosed down <laughs> all these blossoms because apparently ice can actually help protect them. Basically, if the blossoms fall, you're not going to get the fruit. Although some of these have maybe already been pollinated. I think the peaches are more hardy than, say, the pluots and stuff like that when it comes to the blossoms. And not everything is uh, flowered either. There's a lot that hasn't flowered yet. I mean, these things are just waking up. This is a neck the plum. That's a nectarine cross with the plum. The Asian pears are starting to get pretty active too. This is my oldest one I got, doing real well. <clears throat> All right, I have to take you over here to this section because it's just incredible. And I've taken some photos and stuff, but photos don't even do it justice. First one I want to get into is this little miniature <clears throat> bonfire peach. Such a small little bush, basically. But look at that, just so incredibly loaded with flowers, so pretty, you know. If we get the fruit, that's almost like a bonus when it comes to this one. I think I'm going to do a lot of thinning on this because it got so loaded last year. Um, it was ridiculous. Every single one of these became fruit last year. And so they didn't really ripen that well. They didn't get that big. Um, so it's good to, to thin out the fruit. We're learning. Okay, this is my favorite. This is the Atomic Red Double Flowering Nectarine. Just stunning. Reminds me of like azalea bushes or something, you know? So pretty that it's like you can't believe that's producing fruit, you know? like. Incredible. And then we have another nectar plum here. And then we have pluots. So this section is really nice because you just get a nice contrast of the red, pink, and white flowers. I guess you would call this red. I mean, it's kind of a reddish pink <coughs> rose pink, a rose red, sort of, not totally red, but in the middle. Anyway, this is a nice peach plum, right here. peach cross with plum. I ate fruit off this last year. It was out of this world. <laughs> the fruit actually looked like there was a galaxy in it, so beautiful oh this pluary so loaded with blossoms and we ate a lot of fruit off this last year this is a sprite and delight it's a really good one there's two varieties and apparently it's from Wisconsin or something So pluaries are peach, uh, plums crossed with cherries. They're really delightful. So there's a lot blossoming. Here's the uh, flavor punch pluary. So all the pluaries and pluots, they're very early to flower. I don't know anyone growing these in Virginia. Uh, it's got to be difficult because they just bloom so early. But they're, they taste so good. So it's worth it for me. Even if I get fruit every couple years or whatever. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you 
the things that were blossoming. Oh, there's one more thing. There's a little bonus over here. That's definitely worth showing you. So I cut down these dogwood trees back here because they were just taking up space and light and they weren't producing anything. But what I did is I planted these edible dogwood cherries. So they're incredibly beautiful, these blossoms. And they're gonna produce cherries. And I got a whole row of them going all the way down. And I'll just tell you, I got so the Cornelian Dogwood Cherries row, Almonds row, Mulberry row, Asian Pear row, European Pears. And I am sort of doing this row style. It's just easier to navigate for me and I can just plant all the watermelon I want. <laughs> so it's gonna be an awesome year. There's sea berries waking up. There's all honey berries are blossoming too. Maybe I'll show you that one too because that's a very early one to blossom. That was the first one I saw a bee on. Bumblebees were all over them. Honey berries are actually honeysuckles that produce these awesome berries that are kind of like grapes or blueberries. Yeah, you see that blossoming? <sighs> So, it's going to be a great year. Um, oh, the solution to the blossoms. Oh, I already mentioned we're going to have to spray them with uh, water, with hoses. We'll give it a try. Hopefully it works. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day or evening. Take care.